Oh, I can see everyone! Hey, hello! Hello! My name is Olivia. And I'm Derek. And we will be your MCs for the evening. Nice to see Leanne Cam looking more in love than ever. Darren, long time no see! Is that Andrew? Andrew Kuhn? Hey, Andrew! I had a dream you died! Glad <laughs> to see you made it. Clausens, Coons, family and friends, we would like to formally welcome you to Grey Bowl. And the 2019 Chevrolet Equinox that gets 39 miles to the gallon. For Cam and Leah's stag and doe. And it's a true testament to this couple that all of you are taking time out of your busy weekend to celebrate Leanne Cam. Actually, we're sorry. We are late. We took a left down memory lane when we were supposed to take a right down Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her phone, but, but we're back on track. We're back on track. Actually, speaking of memory lane, I was just telling Derek the story of how Cam and Leah met. Yeah, it's a great story. Actually, Derek, this being one of the first celebrations for Cam and Leah, do you think we should share the story with everyone? I think so. They'd love it. Yeah, it's a good story. Where should we start? Mm, the beginning, of course. The beginning. Okay, so it was the summer of 2015. A summer to remember. <laughs> that summer, Leah and Cam were both working at a summer camp in Muskoka called Camp Crossroads. The most romantic place on earth. You're absolutely right about that. The view of the lake, the rugged landscape. The loud children running around. <laughs> yes, it's truly amazing. Our first chapter of this love story begins with Leah sitting in a dining hall wanting to play Dutch Blitz. That's but right. And so the stories told, our hero had no one to play with. But in the background, observing the lonely woman in despair was our other hero of the story. Cam Clausen himself. Cam walked up to Leah and asked if he could play. Rumors say they played until the sun came up the next morning. And as fate would have it, both Leah and Cam were placed working in the dining hall together soon after this enchanting interaction. Ah, there she is. A wild Leah Coon in her natural habitat. Basketball in hand, looking for a vegetable to prey on. And she had absolutely no intention of playing basketball, did she? No, sir. Not until Cam came up to her and said, Are you going to play basketball? At which point, the butterflies had already taken over, pushing the blooming pair towards the courts. To Cam, this was just a game. But to Leah, this was a test. A test that would define whether Cam had what it takes to be the man of her dreams. They played a tough game. Cam was impressed with Leah's skills, and Leah was impressed with the way that Cam held his own. This only brought hot tension to the duo. Leah recognized a spark between the two of them that seemed too good to be true. As she walked back to her cabin, she thought to herself, I'm... No, wait. I want to tell this part. As she walked back to her cabin, she thought to herself, I'm going to marry him. Cam is a man of deep thought and enjoys sitting on the dock and pondering about things like human existence, what makes kittens cute, and why dinner always precedes dessert. Leah saw Cam at a distance one night, alone and vulnerable, and decided to make her move. How aggressive, Leah. I know! She walked up to him with a couple blankets and a bag of nibs. This was when they really got to know each other. They talked about their families, their likes and dislikes, and their favorite Katy Perry songs. All that while being accompanied by the stars glistening above them. Like any good old Muskoka dinner date, our protagonist then ventured to Boston Pizza in Gravenhurst. But let's be clear, it wasn't a date. But what they did do alone was climb the rock face behind Boston Pizza to watch the sunset. As the sun went down, Cam, being an engineer and all, had the idea of climbing higher on the rock to see the sunset longer. So that's what they did. They climbed higher and higher until it was just them and the sunset. Let's watch a live action replay. Later that night, Cam and Leah finally expressed some of their feelings towards each other. Yes, they went on a walk to Pine Tree Point back at camp. Cam, overflowing with his feelings like he always is, turned to Leah during the walk and said, I like you. Leah replied saying, I like you too. Leah actually explained to Cam that she has liked him for a while now, which came as a shock to Cam. Now, our source is a bit wishy-washy in this next chapter, but we know it had something to do with a canoe and there was hand-holding. And I think John John Florence was there too? Or was it Ben Federow? We can't be sure. 
Anyway, we can confirm that this is when Cam and Leah shared their first kiss. Oh, I love love. We all do, especially when it comes in a beautiful story like this one. And the rest is history. Derek, wipe that tear from your eye. I'm sorry, Liv. You know I'm a sucker for wholesome half men and I love stories. Ugh. Yeah, I'm okay, though. Mom. Well, grab yeah. yourself a drink, grab yourself a pie. The show is about to start, and we are almost there. There's pie? We'll see you soon. <laughs>